fitness trackers. Fitness trackers have become very popular worldwide and they're only going to get more popular. Now I get a lot of questions, people asking me what's the best ones, are the calories right or this, that and the other. So in this video I'm going to answer the most common questions people ask me about fitness trackers. First question. So I have a Samsung watch and it annoys me when doing workouts because it says I burnt half the calories for everyone else. Example, 45 minutes HIIT workout, it said I burned 175 calories. When asked other people, they're said for 60 calories. So I'll start that by saying this, right? When you get a fitness tracker, it asks you for your stats, age, weight, height, all that kind of stuff. What that does is it calculates your BMR or roughly your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate. So how many calories your body needs to survive? Burn 70% of your calories just sitting around doing nothing, surviving for your heart, your lungs and all that to function. In this situation, her watch is telling her she burnt 175 calories when exercising and when she asked other people what they burnt their watches are giving back 460 calories. The watches that are showing the higher number, 460, they're actually showing calories burnt in exercise and BMR calories burnt. So what your body would have burnt anyway, just sitting like a potato and doing nothing, they have that added onto your exercise calories too. Whereas the watch with the lower number is giving her exercise only calories, what she burnt directly through exercise. And I'll show you. Like I said, your BMR accounts for 70% of your calories burned. So out of their calories for 60, let's get 70% of that. And you're left with 322 calories. That's what you burnt regardless, doing nothing. Now take 322 calories away from 460 and you're left with 138 calories, which is what you burnt in the exercise. So the watches giving the lower number are the ones showing calories burnt only through that exercise, that movement, okay? The ones that are showing the higher number are showing your calories burnt through that movement, including your calories burnt by your body, your BMR. If your watch doesn't give you the lower number and you want a rough guide on how much you burnt through exercise only, just uh, get 70% of them calories and subtract that from the total. So if it comes to calories, the majority of fitness trackers have a margin of error of 25%. So that's a lot. So I'd say no there. And the more expensive fitness trackers have a margin of error of 20%. Still big margin. So not accurate with calories. Another reason why they wouldn't be accurate on calories is everyone's body is different. Everyone has a different metabolic rate, burn calories at different rates, which it can't show. Accurate at your heartbeat, not exactly transferring into calories and expenditure because anything that makes your heart go faster, your watch is gonna show that you're doing exercise. So if you're sitting down watching TV and calories are nice and slow and next thing your heart rate starts going for five minutes, you get an anxiety attack or something like that, your calories are gonna start going up fast because the watch thinks you're exercising with the increased heart rate, whereas you're not. So it calculates calories burned, estimated, but they're not burned. Get me? And when it comes to steps, still none of them are 100% accurate when it comes to steps. To test this for yourself, if you have a fitness watch on, I don't. Check the steps, shake your hand there for about 20 seconds and it'll think you've ran about 200 meters. Not 100% accurate, but accurate enough. Never owned a fitness tracker, so I can't say. I just know how they work. But, they're all roughly the same because the margin of error, if you can get one that has 20% margin of error instead of 25%, that would be the better one. So consider them few bits, you can see they're not accurate, but they are still a useful tool in your arsenal. So in short, they're accurate enough to be a good tool to be used for most people for most purposes. It's better to have a ballpark rough idea of how many steps you've done and calories burnt then no idea at all. I don't really count your steps. What they have in them is things called accelerometers. And what they do is they judge your movement, your speed and all that kind of stuff. So it doesn't check your steps, but a lot of them are more sensitive than others. Meaning some of them will track the smallest movement and some of them won't. I'm pretty sure they can. I don't have a fitness tracker, so I can't actually do the experiment. But I think the answer would be yes, your steps will go up. Because if you sit there with your fitness tracker in your hand and go like this, it's going to think you're walking. 